Hey y'all, I'm gonna share something with you today that has made my summer. Um, I had never baked tomato pie before this summer and boy am I kicking myself for it because not only me, but my family has really enjoyed tomato pie. Um, at least the adults have. <laughs> Um, so today I'm just going to show you how I make tomato pie. It's kind of a two-part recipe. The first part is making the pie crust. Now for the tomato pie itself, I have adapted um, uh, Paula Dean's tomato pie recipe. Uh, I've changed a few things and one of the things is that she asks for you to use a pre-baked pie crust. Um, but I am actually going to make my pie crust and I use um, the Pioneer Woman's Pam's Pie Crust recipe. So um, I will actually link that in the description if you want to see that um, on her blog. So. so sometimes, actually most of the time, I will actually mix up this pie crust by hand. But for the sake of time, I'm actually going to use my KitchenAid today. So, um, all right, so we need two and a fourth cup all purpose flour. And y'all, I'm going to go ahead and apologize, but y'all already know I don't measure anything precisely. So, actually, it's two and a half cup. All right, then we're going to add some salt. And this is a teaspoon of salt. Then we're going to add a tablespoon of sugar. Then um, I'm going to let the mixer mix this just a tiny bit and then before we add the butter. So I've mixed up the all-purpose flour, salt, and sugar in the mixing bowl. And now I'm going to use two cups of cold butter and I'm going to cut it into chunks. So now we're going to take this butter and we're going to add it to the mixer. Okay, it started to clump up pretty good um, with the flour, so I'm going to go ahead and add a fourth cup of cold water. Looks like it's pretty well mixed. I'm going to finish it with my hands. And I'm going to go ahead and preheat the oven to 400 degrees so I can bake this pie crust. Got my nice um, Pampered Chef stoneware that I'm going to bake it in. Okay, so it is mixed pretty well. I am going to finish it with my hands and we're going to actually make this into two pie crusts. And I'm going to save one for later because I know we'll want to make another one this week. So we're going to split this in half. And we're going to save that one for later. Alright, so now you've got a nice ball for your pie crust. 
And since I'm gonna go ahead and use this, um, if I'm not gonna go ahead and use this, then I would wrap it up in some plastic wrap or some parchment or something and put it in my refrigerator for when I did need to use it. But since I'm gonna go ahead and use this, I'm actually gonna go ahead and press it into my, um, my pie dish. <clears throat> Sometimes I will roll this out, but if it saves me a step, <laughs> then I'm gonna do it this way. Cause you're basically achieving the same thing, right? <laughs> and it's very soft and pliable right now. So it's going to go wherever you want it to go in your pie dish. If y'all fix this, you'll have to leave a comment with how you liked it or how your family liked it because anytime I have fixed this for my family or for friends that have come over, everyone has really raved about it. Um, so I want to hear what everyone else thinks about it or if you change the recipe, how have you changed it? Um, and maybe you have a different pie crust recipe that you like to use. So it's very adaptable. You can. Or you can buy a pie crust like I said that's what um, the Paula Dean recipe that she has online she says to use a pre-baked pie crust um, which I assume most of the time means from the store uh, so it's up to you however you want to do it is how it will be perfect okay so I've pushed this in sometimes I like for it to be a little more on the sides because otherwise when it bakes it shrinks up just a little bit draws up so that it doesn't it's not quite at the top of the but this is actually a deep dish pie um, pan so all right I'm pretty happy with that so um, my philosophy is it doesn't have to be beautiful to be good so this is not beautiful. It's got my fingerprints all in it, but it's going to be delicious. So let's bake this for about 10 to 12 minutes just to get it, um, just to get it firm. And while that is baking, we are going to start on the ingredients for the pie. So what you're going to do is you're going to take four tomatoes and actually because we have a deep dish pie I'm actually going to use five because that's how many I just harvested from the garden so I'm gonna take five ripe tomatoes and I'm going to wash them and peel them and then I'm going to slice them then I'm actually going to put them into a colander and sprinkle them with salt and let them sweat for a little while so that the tomato pie is not super juicy. Um, that's just that's just helping us get some of that moisture out of the tomato slices. So. This tomato wasn't super ripe, but it's not gonna matter. It's gonna be delicious. I've been eating green tomatoes all summer too. These are really messy slices. It does not matter what your slices look like. They're just gonna be baked in the pie and there's actually gonna be a topping so that you're not gonna see the slices anyway. So I think there's some tomato pie recipes out there where there is not a topping. So, <clears throat> so you do see the exposed slices of tomatoes and then you might wanna worry a little more about uh, presentation, I guess, <laughs> and how you're cutting. But right now, I'm just trying to get it done as quickly as possible because I can't believe it's still quiet in my house right now. It won't last long. All you moms can amen that. Okay, <clears throat> so I got a big mess to clean up right here. Um, but here are my tomato slices. I'm going to try to get them in a single layer if I can, and I'm just gonna sprinkle them with just about, I don't know, a fourth of a teaspoon, a half a teaspoon of salt. I'm just gonna sprinkle them with salt and let them sweat in the sink for about 10 minutes. Who likes to cook? I would like to hear from our viewers 
who really likes and enjoys cooking? Um, I have a confession to make. I never did. Um, early on, when we first got married, I did not enjoy cooking, but I did cook in a different way then. I cooked a lot of box meals and things, but um, as I started venturing out and started cooking from scratch, I really started to enjoy cooking and I still enjoy cooking, If especially if I have a quiet kitchen. I usually have my jazz going um, and uh, yeah, I really enjoy it. It's like one of my favorite parts of the whole day, um, but it's not always been that way. So if that's you, then don't give up. Maybe you just haven't found the right thing to fix yet or the right environment to fix it in. <laughs> when my babies were little, and they were holding on to me the whole time I was trying to cook, that was not enjoyable. Um, but now that they can go off and do their thing and do schoolwork or go play outside while I'm cooking, then it is very relaxing to me. So, and it's delicious. Okay, so it's been 12 minutes. I got out the pie crust. It's not super brown, but it is firm. And like I said, it drew up some, so, um, so it's not gonna be on the sides anymore. It's gonna be mostly on the bottom, which is completely fine. So I'm gonna leave that right here. I'm going to set the oven back to 350 instead of 400 for the pie itself. So the next thing we need are 10 fresh basil leaves. I love basil and I'm so excited that we grew basil this year because I have used it a lot, um, especially in this recipe but um, I don't use quite 10. I think my leaves are a little larger and um, I just think that's kind of overkill. What's in tomato on me still? <laughs> okay, now we are going to chop up half an onion. I believe her recipe calls for half a cup of chopped onion but I'm going to just use half an onion. I think that's pretty close. And like I said, like this is how I cook anyways. You do not have to follow these recipes exactly for it to be delicious and I never follow a recipe exactly so um, yeah. And somehow it still turns out good. So that'll give you some encouragement. Alright, we've got our beautiful basil and our onions ready to go. Now I'm going to grate our cheese. We're going to use um, a cup of grated mo mozzarella cheese and a cup of grated cheddar. Um, I have a white sharp cheddar that I'm going to use and mozzarella. Um, so let's grate those. Just don't you love cheese? Okay, so I got about a cup of cheddar. I'm going to pour that into my bowl. Alright, now I'm going to grate the mozzarella. What's your favorite kind of cheese? I'm not very adventuresome with my cheeses, but I like brie um, and cheddar the most. I'm not a huge fan of mozzarella. I don't know why I'm not. And mozzarella is harder to grate <laughs> on this anyways. And this is what I use most of the time. I've got a, a different kind of grater, but I just hate cleaning it. So if y'all haven't learned this already, if it takes less steps and less dishes to do something, then that's the way I'm going to do it. Whether it's right or wrong, Okay. Alright, so I'm going to put all these, these cheeses, the two kinds of cheeses that we just 
mix in a bowl together, or that we just grated in a bowl together, and then I'm going to add in a cup of mayonnaise. And I know some of you are probably pretty smart and you make your own mayonnaise, but I do not. Not yet, anyways. Um, so, this is Duke's, which is, in my opinion, the only kind of mayonnaise there is. So, I'm going to add a cup of mayonnaise. Okay. And then I'm just going to mix up our mayonnaise and cheese mixture. And this is going to be our topping. Okay, got this good and congealed. You can see that. And I think we are ready to put everything together now. So I'm going to take our tomatoes go in first. So I'm going to put the tomatoes into our pie crust and layer them. Okay, so we've got the tomatoes layered in the bottom of our pie, and then I'm just gonna add in the basil. And the onions. The recipe called for green onion, but I just use regular onion, by the way, if I don't have green onion. Then I'm just gonna put a little pepper and uh, really, you don't need any more salt because we've already salted the tomatoes when they were sweating. And we're going to have all this cheese and mayonnaise, so I don't think you need any salt. But just, um, I usually put some pepper in there. And then we put our topping on, which is our two cheeses and our mayonnaise. And just try to smooth this out as best you can. It does not have to be perfect by any means. I usually, honestly, if you guys aren't watching me, I usually use my hands. So I'm going to use my hands now. <laughs> Just because that's the easiest way for me to get this done quickly. And usually my topping does not cover my entire pie. Um, if you used a smaller pie pan, it might. Um, but it usually doesn't and that's I'm okay with that all right and now we get to put this in the oven on uh, in a 350 degree oven for 30 minutes or until it's browned and nice and crusted on top Now I can't wait to dig into this, but unfortunately I'm going to have to do a few mothering things right now before I can before I can taste it and it needs to cool for a little bit. But you are supposed to serve it warm, so um, I will definitely back, be back to check this out in a little bit. still too hot but I can't wait any longer and I'm so excited mm. and that's good I hope you've enjoyed it and we'll see you on the next one bye <laughs>